This is lesson three, Bitcoin versus gold. In this lesson, we'll be taking a look at the investment options of Bitcoin versus its physical counterpart in a lot of ways, gold. Let's begin. So many advocates describe Bitcoin as a sort of digital gold, and this is because it shares many attributes of gold except in digital form. Bitcoin reflects many of the investment characteristics which make gold a viable investment. Bitcoin, like gold, is scarce, it is quasi-indestructible, it serves an industrial purpose, and in addition to these, it also adds the characteristic of perfect portability and divisibility. One of the main knocks against gold is that it's quite difficult to move and therefore not very portable. Also, it's difficult to divide gold and essentially at the same rate of divisibility of Bitcoin does not stand a chance. Bitcoin is perfectly divisible and currently we can divide it up into eight decimal places with the smallest decimal place or the eighth decimal place described as a Satoshi. The integrity of Bitcoin can also be cryptographically verified through the blockchain. With gold, it's not that simple because it has been found that filler metals such as tungsten have been used at the core of gold while giving the outside external appearance of being pure gold, which is not exactly true. Taking a look at the historical performance of gold and Bitcoin, we see that obviously over thousands of years, gold has remained quite a standard in purchasing power and wealth preservation. And generally, we expect this to continue, but some due thought needs to go to this type of digital gold cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, which has recently come onto the scenes and absorbed many of the investment characteristics of gold. And as we can see from the chart, is vying to be at the same purchasing power parity as one ounce of gold. In this chart, we can see that in late 2013, Bitcoin actually reached the same purchasing power as one ounce of gold and has since fell back down. Is it reasonable to think that Bitcoin might get back up to the same purchasing power as gold? It's definitely possible. Now, one of the reasons investors put a, a reasonable percentage of their portfolio into gold is as an economic hedge against disaster. And this is because Gold is one of the most sound forms of money and it has persisted for thousands of years. Now, would it be reasonable to put some percentage of a portfolio in Bitcoin as a hedge against economic disaster? Well, considering that the up and coming generation is digitally native and using their mobile and technological devices on a daily basis, it's possible that Bitcoin can be seen as a hedge against economic disaster as well. Furthermore, the law that governs Bitcoin is not a physical law and not a political law, but it is a computational law that self-adjusts and self-regulates. Bitcoin truly is source code as law, and precisely because of that, it makes a considerable hedge against economic disaster. This brings us to the conclusion of today's lesson. For an interesting lab and an investment perspective of the Bitcoin versus gold debate, read our analysis at diginomics.com slash Bitcoin versus gold. That's it for today's lesson. We'll see you in the next one.